Snake Pass is a game that manages to be very reminiscent of the golden age of 3D platformers and yet wholly unique when compared and contrasted with the games of that era. The ways in which it evokes this bygone age of gaming is fairly evident just by looking at it. You play as a cute animal in a colorful world and you have to collect things in order to progress. It's not far removed from games like Banjo-Kazooie or Spyro in that regard. But what makes it radically different from pretty much every other game it might superficially be compared to is one key fact. Since you control a snake, you simply can't jump. And that removes basically everything a traditional 3D platformer usually builds its other systems around. The way the developers manage to create engaging gameplay by not featuring one of the cornerstones of the genre is pretty damn excellent. Since you can't jump around to your heart's content, the developers focused on the one thing that every game should strive for. Controlling your character should be fun even without any other challenge in the game. Think about the Mario games. Ever since Super Mario 64, Mario has gotten a large number of varied moves he can execute. Just running and jumping around in all the different ways you can is fun even before you jump on the first Goomba's head. And even as recently as Super Mario Odyssey, you can clearly see this principle still paying large dividends. So true to that principle, Noodle, the snake you're controlling in Snake Pass, is immensely fun to move around the levels by itself. It might take you some time to get used to the control scheme and fully internalize what happens when you push the analog stick in any given direction or press a button. Because since you control a snake, you also have to move around like a snake. Pulling the trigger to move yourself in the direction Noodle is facing may push you forward, but if you only move in a straight line, you'll slow down to a crawl almost immediately. Because snakes don't actually move around like that. In order to gain momentum, you'll have to wiggle around just like a real snake would. Since this is a platformer, you'll need to find ways in order to actually reach higher and lower places safely, so again you'll be using techniques borrowed from real life in order to climb around these levels competently. That means winding up tightly around objects in order to maximize friction in order to not slide off. Since the focus of the game is mastering the movement of the animal you're supposed to be playing, there's no actual combat going on in the game. You'll have enough on your plate with the controls and figuring out how to traverse these levels without also having to bother killing enemies. But you still need a challenge, and it's safe to say that the biggest adversary in the game is actually your character itself. This concept is nothing new. There are tons of games, often built around poorly implemented physics systems whose challenge stems entirely from getting through the game with a character that's hard to control. But most of the time this is done for comedic effect and never really intended for graceful play. So it's very nice to see that Snake Pass takes the high road here and really wants you to commit to playing like a snake. Because Noodle's body is obviously affected by gravity. And if the majority of the weight dangles off a ledge, you'll risk sliding off. Though the game does offer a method of making things easier. Noodle has a hummingbird companion called Doodle and with a push of a button you can use Doodle to lift Noodle's tail and carry it around. That doesn't mean that you can't fall off a ledge, but it makes it easier when your tail manages to slide off and threatens to pull you along with it, which is nice. However, the fact that Noodle is so finicky to control can still lead to some frustration, especially during the later levels that severely ramp up the challenge, notably if you're bent on really finding all the collectibles. I am by no means a completionist, but whenever I encounter a challenge I enjoy, I at least try to go for as much as I can. But I have to say that the last batch of levels tested my patience at certain points. Especially one of the very final jumps that required me to have Noodle be blown from one platform onto another one by a gust of wind that almost seemed like it deliberately went against every other type of challenge where you have to avoid the wind as best as possible. But to the game's credit, you're never required to collect more than the requisite three keys that unlock the portal to the next level. So if you don't care about collecting everything or you just can't be bothered to overcome a certain challenge, you can just leave it at that. Now, in the introduction I mentioned how the game feels similar to 3D platformers of ye olde times. But one thing that is absent and what made the genre so endearing to me were the silly characters, the bonkers narratives and the often irreverent humor of the writing. And this is one aspect that Snake Pass this time unfortunately didn't opt to let itself be inspired by. The justification for why you're traversing these levels is thinner than one ply toilet paper. It's honestly not even worth wasting any words in describing it because it's so perfunctory. Suffice to say that I would have loved to see some actual writing in a game that already features a cartoony world where you control a snake called Noodle. Because the rest of the presentation is pretty much spot on to what you'd expect from this type of game. You have a set of 15 levels divided into 4 thematic sets around earth, water, fire and air and it all looks gorgeous and the soundtrack is equally great and enjoyable. 
If you're after a fun and challenging gameplay experience, I can definitely recommend Snake Pass. It's intelligently designed and it offers an interesting and novel way of gameplay. But if you saw any of the trailers or screenshots and got nostalgic for the antics of the likes of Conkers, Banjo and the rest, I'm sad to say that Snake Pass unfortunately isn't what you're looking for. 